bars are one of the weirdest animals that somehow won the game of evolution. They're like a pig, beaver, guinea pig mix, and somehow this works in their favor and makes them have almost no downsides as a species. They're great swimmers because they have partially webbed feet, and their pig-shaped body also helps them swim because high body fat means they float. Their pig-shaped body also means that when they're in the water, they can completely submerge their body but keep their head above water to maintain alertness for predators, and they can also breathe doing this, enabling long-distance swimming. And you might think that means they have bad lungs because they have to keep their head up to breathe, but no, they actually have very good lungs, which also helps them maintain buoyancy above water. Those same lungs that maintain buoyancy also allow them to hold their breath for five minutes underwater, which is actually pretty good. For me to hold my breath for five minutes underwater, I'd need some serious training. And these chill dudes are just pre-programmed to do that. And capybaras are extremely chill. I have never seen one pissed off and they're always just vibing. And of course, being a chill animal in nature has its downsides. And that downside is being brutally eaten alive. As you probably guessed, capybaras are targeted by lots of different animals. And their young are even targeted by large birds. So they have a lot to worry about in the wild. This concern of being eaten alive made them adapt in a couple ways. They usually live in groups up to 40 large, but they don't mind being alone. And they also adjust their sleeping time to when they are least likely to be a meal. So if predators in their area are active at night, they'll just get up in the day. And just like most animals that are easy prey, they're herbivores. So they typically only eat plants. And if they don't eat those plants, their teeth grow too big. Their teeth literally do not stop growing. They need to break them down or they will get too big and maybe impale them. So they spend most of their day eating and lounging around. And then before they go to sleep, they poop. And then when they wake up, they eat that same poop. They let their poop sit overnight so it becomes infested with microorganisms and then they eat it in the morning for extra protein. They eat their own poop because of protein benefits. It's not nearly as bad as a certain animal we know because this seems more optional, but still I'd prefer if it wasn't a normal thing in the animal kingdom for animals to eat their own poop. Like and subscribe if you're new. Check out my content using the end screens now. Follow me on Twitter at Spatons. One link also in the description. Have a great rest of your day, boys.